This is Mike Bot. Today I'm going to be starting a new series on this Fox Alien engraving machine, uh, model being the riser. I also have the enclosure here as well as the air assist. So I almost have a full package here. Uh, the only thing I'd be missing might be the offline controller. But other than that, the uh, uh, laser engraver is in and it's ready to be unboxed and ready for a new series. This model here is the 20 watt desktop laser engraver. Uh, the laser output is 5 watts. This one is capable of cutting wood, MDF, ceramic, acrylic and supposedly metal. Although I don't believe it will actually be able to cut metal. Uh, but time will tell and uh, as you'll see in the video series we'll see if it can actually cut metal. So this one here is the 400 by 400 millimeter work area which is a fairly large work area. There is a model bigger than this called the Mega which is 800 by 400. Uh, but I have the 400 by 400. I actually got it on sale for $300. I don't think laser engravers are that cheap typically. So fairly good price. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the unboxing. And I'll mention things as needed throughout the video. Uh, this video will probably just be the unboxing, installation and build. And then there will be more videos following up for the test. As well as using the uh, software. The software I'm going to use is called Laser GRBL. It's open source and free. So that'll be another video, uh, probably be posting both videos at the same time, depending on how editing goes. So without further ado, let me get started with the unboxing. I'm going to start with the engraving machine riser. I'm going to unbox it, build it, and then I'll do the air assist and the enclosure, which is right here afterwards. But uh, it'll all be one continuous video. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Fox Alien laser engraver first. This is supposed to only take about 20 minutes to build. All right, first thing we have in the package here is the user manual. So there it is. We've got two different camera angles going. Let me take off the foam pad. And I'm gonna put that aside for a minute. So then we have the uh, laser glasses, uh, laser can damage your eyes. So it's nice that they include the glasses for it. And then I'll take out the, uh, looks like the YL axis, which also has the controller already installed in the back here. So we have the power on off as well as the uh, homing button. So basically laser X, Y, R, Y, L. So Y right, Y left and Y home. The cabling should be pretty straightforward. Then I have one of the axes here. So this looks like somebody had previously installed it and took it apart. There are some obvious marks on here. Hopefully uh, there's no major issues with the actual laser engraver. Take out the x-axis. Another big heavy piece here. So here's where the laser is. Uh, the housing of the laser I assume, maybe, I don't know. Here is the actual laser. So it's the uh, class four, 300 millimeter focus distance, 445 nanometer wavelength, 20 watt. And it even comes with a little screen that goes around the laser. This is still sealed. So maybe this is a brand new package after all. And then here we have the positioning block, 30 millimeter positioning block. So I guess that's for homing. We've got the power supply here, standard uh, power supply, 60 watts. And then the USB cable which goes into your computer and it uses a very old style USB cable. USB, uh, what do they call them back then? A, USB A type. Oh, there's still more stuff here. Have some more rails right here. And 
we got the installation blocks. And the screw pack with Z stops, that's a nice add on. And then a couple pieces of very thin test wood. Uh, I do do woodworking as a hobby, so I have lots of wood, but it's nice that they included these. Not everybody does woodworking and has extra wood like I would. And that's basically it in the box. So actually I had a change of heart. I'm gonna also unbox the uh, the air assist while I'm at it since I, once the build starts, it's gonna be hard to wire everything back up. So I'll just get the air assist open. This is the official Fox Alien air assist. So this was about $100 Canadian. It has an aluminum block, air outlet, and then you got the uh, knob here to make it higher or lower pressure with the on off switch. Comes with a little hose. The uh, couple cables, this cable probably goes into the uh, uh, actual laser engraver, so they kind of work together. And uh, this end here probably goes into the power supply. And then this is the most important piece. This is very expensive on its own. This is the nozzle upgrade. Uh, so the air assist works with it. And then last, we have, I'm pretty sure it's the power brick. Yep. It is. So this one's very simple, basically, to wire. Uh, if you want to have the, your machine power it, you just plug this in. This end goes into the machine. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this cable is for yet. Once I get there, I will speak about it. But if you don't want to use the power built into your laser engraver, it does have a power brick. So I'm going to put these aside for now so I don't get them mixed up with the main parts. I'm just going to go ahead and open the laser engraver cover that I bought. Uh, this is not needed, but highly recommended. It's supposed to help prevent fires and smoke uh, uh, issues with uh, the smell from the smoke. You just have to be careful. It says not to use the knife there because it's don't go in too deep. So with the enclosure, I got a couple gloves, manual for the enclosure, the ends, the actual enclosure itself, the bars, Uh, it even comes with a little vent, vent cover, which I could print with my 3D printer if I really wanted to. And this is kind of sweet. Comes with a USB LED light bar as well. So uh, it's an all-in-one kit. This was also, I believe, about $100 Canadian. I will build this right after the printer is built. All right, so that's it for the unboxing. I am going to go ahead and start with the uh, laser engraver build now. All right, first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you look through your package list and make sure all the parts are there. So step one starts with the left Y axis. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this right now. All right, step two is the YR axis. I uh, reversed them when I did them. I did the YL, uh, YR first instead of YL, but uh, basically it's the same installation. All right, so there's the YL axis assembled. Next is step three, the X aluminum profile. All right, now for the next step, which is the X-axis gantry. So for this one, we're gonna need the M5 by 20s, four of those. It does look like they gave one extra of every screw, which is nice. I had a major failure with one of my microphones, so hopefully this microphone uh, picks up 
the remainder of this video. So I'm on step five now, which is the laser module. And the acrylic sheet basically goes on the back here. Step six is mounting the laser onto the engraver. All right, so that's basically it for the installation. Now comes the wiring. Basically just follow the uh, little tags on the, uh, the wires and plug them into the board and into the laser module. As you can see, everything is wired in where it's supposed to. And then that's where your USB and power go. The X home goes in there and all the steppers are already connected. I guess in the package, they give you a couple extra steppers so the USB key is supposed to have the software on it. So I'm going to go ahead and install the software on the computer. So stay tuned for the second video, which is going to be the uh, installation of uh, laser GRBL. Well, I've already installed it on my system. So it's going to be basically uh, turning the printer on for the first time, doing the homing and doing all the uh, setup. All right. So the air assist module didn't really have any instructions. Um, but I think it should be fairly straightforward. So I'm going to start by connecting the nozzle. So the purpose of the air assist is to give you cleaner and nicer cuts, basically. So there's the air assist nozzle. There's only one spot really for the air assist module. So it's pretty straightforward where it goes in. And it basically just goes in right there. And then this cable here goes into the pump. And there's even a little extension cord in case it's needed. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and build the enclosure really quick and that'll wrap up this video. So stay tuned for the uh, testing phase, which is going to be in a next, another video. All right. So last but not least, I'm going to do the enclosure build and that'll be it for this video. So the instructions are not that great, but it's pretty straightforward. So that's it for the unboxing and the installation build video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. That's it for now. Mike bot out.